How's it going, everyone? Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, uh, a few weeks ago, there were articles that were circulating about how Henry Cavill had unfollowed Warner Brothers off of basically all social media, and just right off the bat, it shouldn't have been something that huge. I mean, it's still tabloid garbage. It's still... It's very much just clickbait nonsense to rile people up and, you know, create hostility. And Grace Randolph kind of fell right into it, if you ask me. She made a post about Gal Gadot's statements on Twitter about how she was treated unfairly with Joss Whedon and how he threatened her career and all that. Shit we already knew. Uh, shit that we should have already been adamant on holding accountable for um, with when, when Ray Fisher had come forward, but... It wasn't until Gal came forward that I feel like a lot of people started taking Fisher's word as truth. And everything she said about Gal is fine. It's actually great, if you ask me. It's very much in line of, yeah, no surprises there. And that's unfortunate. And that's something we should be fighting against. But for no reason at all, she decides to throw shade at Henry Cavill by saying, as far as him unfollowing Warner Brothers on social media, it's hard to sympathize with someone who refused to, like, support the Snyder Cut movement, meaning post the hashtag before it was announced. And it's just such a fucking ridiculous take. It's, it's one of the dumbest takes I've ever seen from Grace. And so, obviously, it's not true. We've seen it documented in interviews that he would have loved to have seen a version of the movie without the CGI fiasco that is his face. He was fucking with Zack Snyder at his Man of Steel watch party, and he told Zack Snyder to make the announcement. He's, I reckon you should show it to people. Did she fucking forget about that? How the fuck is she going to act like he never wanted the Snyder Cut to be a thing? The fallacy there is that she thinks that it's easy to support something once it's approved. No shit. Um, this man was kind of fighting for his career to keep his role as Superman. And it still ended up being fucked for him. He still got dicked out of it entirely. <laughs> it's just... He didn't have the job security that Gal Gadot or Jason Momoa had. He couldn't just post the hashtag and act like Warner Brothers wouldn't come after his ass. So I fully understand why he didn't post hashtag release the Snyder Cut. But now that it's out, he has shown his gratitude towards it, thanking Zack Snyder personally. It's crazy to think that he didn't want this thing to get released. It's, it's just, it's nothing short of insane. But all I did, simply all I did on three posts, including that post that Grace Randolph posted, I simply asked her to retract her statement against Henry Cavill since it was false. Objectively, it is an incorrect statement, and I am not one for watching a false narrative pushed, especially when it's harmful to this whole Restore the Snyderverse movement. All she's doing is creating a further division for DC fans and people that want Henry Cavill as Superman. But, you know... Evidently, she's just as prideful and spiteful as Warner Brothers is and can't swallow that. So she, when faced with truth, when faced with, hey, please retract your statements again against Henry Cavill, all, all she's capable of doing is blocking, which, you know, that's not what I'm really mad at. Uh, since that feature exists for a reason. If someone's fucking harassing you, yeah, block their ass. That's fine. <laughs> I never thought one of my favorite YouTubers would fucking be so petty though and yeah <laughs> it's just it, it feels really shitty that someone that I really did look up to on this platform was just so narrow minded so arrogant <laughs> like god damn <sighs> and I'm not sure you know, why I'm even doing this, you know, I'm probably looking for attention, I'll, I'll own up to that, I just, it's cathartic for me to kind of just get my feelings out there, um, really all I'm doing, I don't 
particularly care how this video is received. It's just... Wanted to get it out there. Um, not gonna unsubscribe to Grace just yet. But, you know, I am probably done watching her content. I mean, it just, it kind of showed just how unwilling she is and how stubborn she is to really open up her thinking. And frankly, that's just not the kind of person I want to continue supporting on YouTube. <sighs> and it's just what's baffling to me most is like, that entire tangent she went on Cavill was, it didn't need to happen. Like, it had nothing to do with what she had originally posted about. Had she just fucking ignored it, like, she should have with every tabloid article that ever fucking sees the light of day. Everything would have been fine. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, if you, uh... If you don't post your support for something, you are against it, and you do not deserve any kind of sympathy whatsoever. So, if you've been silent on this whole Israeli crisis, um, you, you know, you're just a person that deserves no sympathy for any shortcoming that happens to you, I guess. That's my takeaway from her little statement. So, hopefully, uh... This isn't bombarded with dislikes from, you know, Twitter stands and whatnot. So, have yourselves a fantastic day. It's a beautiful day out. I'm, I'm actually going to go pick up a package real soon and make the most out of it. So, catch you all later. Peace.